yeah, so obviously every year we've got all sorts of carnival and the team gets in early to um, to pinpoint what the, what the horse is will suit um, every race that we're targeting here and it's uh, it's no stranger every, every year we come here with a big team so hopefully this year it's, uh, it's going to be another successful carnival for us. Uh, obviously Giga Kig is an Everest winner, won the uh, all age last start. Um, he's, he's no stranger to being a very good horse and uh, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll, we'll bank on our two calls to, to make an upset. In strongly, it's Valana going past Cole Crusher now, then way half falls, but Valana the favourite, edge is clear for a big win in the Hallmark Stakes. Yeah, obviously his campaign started in a good way. Uh, it was very impressive. He's only run this prep, um, comes here in good order. His second up records very well and he's no stranger to Queensland. Being, uh, he was here last year, won the Fred Best. and. Uh, Hopefully we can go into another successful campaign with him. Coming, half cabin to the outside and Wienessie getting a split off the fence. Half cabin lets down. There's six across the track. Wienessie went up the inside. Wienessie to a narrow lead from half cabin lifting the outside of Lady Laguna. Half cabin goes to Lady Laguna and Wienessie and half cabin. Big performance, half cabin. Won the Arrowfield sprint and did it in style. Big yeah, obviously, half cabin is a younger horse, lightly raced. He's only a three year old Cole still. Uh, he. He's, he's, he's a horse that went up in grade very quickly, but it was impressive at every start. Uh, he, he was uh, obviously missed the minor placings in the, in the round with guineas, but his next start in the arrow field was very impressive where nothing went up his way and he was very strong late. So James decided to keep the horse fresh to come here and head towards the 10,000 and potentially the Stradbrook. More than likely, both of them will head towards the Stradbrooks after after their run. Uh, Villana ran in a Stradbrook last year at only his seventh start, so he, he didn't disgrace himself. Finished seventh. Um, he, it was it was a very strong um, strong race, and uh, hopefully he can go a little bit better this year.